between I mean this class are we going to complete the chapter ma'am yeah no it takes one more class because we are going to solve numericals as well in this chapter okay so first we will write the uh, uh, differences between distance and displacement so what is distance students what is distance distance is the actually uh, it is the length of the path actually traveled by a body in any direction yeah ma'am so that can be the first point distance is the length of the path actually traveled by a body in any direction so in any direction the distance travel uh, actually the length traveled by body is called as distance then what about displacement it is the shortest distance between initial and final position deepthi please check your network ma'am yes deepthi ma'am yes who is that deepthi we, we can hear ma'am so displacement is the shortest distance between initial and final position okay next what else we can write distance is scalar quantity isn't it this what we discussed what is scalar students what is scalar what scalar means what is scalar am i audible yes ma'am so what is scalar what is vector we already discussed earlier A scalar means so everybody were active in last class. Ma'am, basically scalar is the long part and the part is this which has magnitude. Yes, ma'am. which has only magnitude okay ma'am magnitude means nothing but i mentioned as a size right yes ma'am big size okay but it doesn't depend on the direction which has only magnitude it is called distance then what about vector vector quantity is which depends on the direction as well as it has magnitude it is vector okay ma'am scalar means only magnitude vector is magnitude and direction okay ma'am got it thank you clear next time you should not miss this concept okay ma'am next uh, in last calculations in last class we got displacement as minus 5 did you remember that i told you that it is moving in opposite direction yes because yeah ma'am the a b c d question ma Yes, yes. In A B C D question, we got displacement as minus five, so we got answer negative, right? 
we got positive answers as well as negative values but what about distance distance is always positive that is the other this um, other point we can write distance is always positive okay whereas displacement it can be negative positive as well as we got zero as well right the initial and final positions are same then displacement is zero isn't it displacement may be positive or negative or zero this all cases we discussed right yes ma'am and distance will never decrease whereas displacement can decrease because if we are considering only the shortest path so displacement may decrease clear okay so these are the difference yes clear with all the points everybody yes ma'am next term comes here is uniform and non uniform motion so what is uniform motion okay if any body is moving in a straight line suppose i am moving here in a straight line or any car is moving if it is moving at uh, uh, like if any car is moving if it is going in a constant speed like it is not increasing its speed suppose it is going at the speed of uh, i think everybody have idea right 60 70 80 speed is mentioned yes ma'am yes so if they maintain the constant speed they are not increasing or decreasing suppose a car is moving uh in a speed of 50 meter per second or 10 meter per second so it means it is moving 10 meters for every second it is not changing its speed so per second means for one second it is traveling 10 meters and for the next second for the next second also it is traveling then and at the next second also it is traveling then so it means time as well as the speed it means speed is remaining constant such kind of motion is called as uniform motion did you got it what uniform motion means ma'am can you hear me yes okay ma'am thank you a body moves moves along a straight line with constant speed with a constant speed yes ma'am it is said to be in uniform motion did you understand what is uniform motion suppose example you can write here a car is car car is running at a constant speed of constant speed of 10 meter per second so for every second it is traveling 10 meter suppose if the car it travel in one second 10 meter and in the um, in the second set in the next second uh, it travel 20 meter and then it slow down to 5 so the car is going slow and then fast so it means it is not maintaining its speed constant then that kind of motion is said to be non uniform motion did you got it what is uniform and non uniform yes ma'am yes ma'am a body which does not move along a straight line and also does not have a constant speed yes 
so if the speed of the body is not moving along the straight line it keeps changing or else you can write body travels an equal distance in equal intervals of time so if you are considering for every second or for every minute so in the first minute it traveled um some 50 meters and in the second minute it travel 100 meters so for for equal time intervals it is traveling with the, it is traveling unequal distance in equal time intervals okay like example what we can consider it travel 10 meter in first second and then in the second 4.9 meter in second second so you can write any example yeah ma next uh, 14 meter in third second so this is an example for non uniform motion so if you show this in terms of graph so i am plotting the graph how the object is moving to show uniform and non uniform motion so i am uh, writing distance here and time that's what we are uh, calculating right so how much distance in travel in particular time so in case of uniform motion it moves like this it is moving with the same speed like constant speed so this is uniform motion in case of non uniform motion it is travel first it travel this much and then it distance decrease then it is traveling like this then up Yes, yes. Goes up then down, down and up. Yeah. So it indicates that it travel more distance, and then it travel less distance. So the distance is not constant. So it is non-uniform motion. Clear? What is uniform and non-uniform motion? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, you told this class we are going to revise heat and temperature and fiber to fabric. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Like, uh, your voice is not clear. Mama was saying that man, you said last class we are going to revise fiber to fabric on heat and temperature. Yeah, ma'am. You told ma'am. What I told? Ma'am, you told that you will tell fiber to fabric and that. Yeah, yeah. We will more. revise that. Don't worry. so i will be taking for uh, half an hour uh, this class so the next topic so we have almost completed only three terms are there with this new terms then i'll start fiber and fabric do not okay, yeah i remembered it so next one next term is speed what is speed students how can you calculate speed ma'am this uh, the distance covered by an object in the yes, distance covered, covered by an by object, an object is In in a, in a particular time, in a particular time also. So time in one minute, how speed. much it travels? That is called speed. So I mean, if it uh, in in one minute, if it does a uh, one round means uh, in uh, five minutes it does. Uh, five you should not count like in that. terms of rounds. You have to count in terms of uh, distance, like meters or centimeters. Yeah, ma'am, ma'am, like uh, kilometers. In one minute, if it covers uh, one meter, mm -hmm. in in five minutes. It can it can like, cover uh, um, for the car or meters. anything. They will tell yeah, the mileage is thirty kilometer. Yeah, ma'am. Like that. Thirty kilometer yeah. per hour. Yes. So it is, or else you can write directly. Speed is distance covered in unit time. by an object mama a good example of this is the rotation of the earth ma'am 
Mom, this is uh, Mom, what are you going to do? Please speak. Sorry, I can't hear you. Mom, I was telling you. You just type in the text box. Mom, I was telling that mm -hmm. um, the uh, the revolution around the rotation of, of Earth, the um, rotation of the Earth around the Sun also has a particular speed, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, so is it called uniform? Method? No, can you tell the distance, how much it traveled in case of the Ma'am, uh, ma'am, I have a doubt. Ma'am, the doubt is um this uh, this thing. It is related to this uniform and ununiform um motion, ma'am. So is now Earth is uh, rotating around the sun, ma'am, in the same speed every single day, ma'am. Ma'am, is it called uniform method or ununiform method? Can you guys hear her? If yes, uh, let me know what she's telling no, exactly. We can't, we can't hear him. Yeah. You can He's type like, Jane. I'm Jane, you can. Ma'am, I am well. Ma'am, you are calling him as a girl, ma'am. Her, uh -huh. her, you are calling him. Okay, you type in the chat box. So your voice is like up and down. So it is not constant. So from the, uh, can we give this formula speed is equal to distance by time, which is how much distance it traveled in a particular time? Yeah, ma'am, we can do. Yes. So distance is measured in units. Which unit, students? Meter per second, ma'am. Meter distance. per second. Ma'am, meter. Ma yes. Meter, kilometer. is measured in meter. Time is measured in second. So units of speed. What can we write? Which is distance meter is meter and time is second. So meter per second, which is indicated by M by SEC. Meter in shortcut M, SEC per second. Okay, not only in meter, we can write in kilometer. Okay, kilometer per hour. Next, uh, meter per minute. So time is measured in terms of uh, second, minute and hour, right? So you can, it can be any units and distance can be measured in kilometer and meter. So we are writing meter and kilometer. Okay. Clear? Yes, ma'am. So the yes, next one in speeds, we will see how many kinds of speeds are there. So um, oh, no, it is not responding. Yeah. Ma'am, I was asking that, ma'am, ma'am, rotation of earth due around the sun, ma'am, is mm -hmm. it uniform, um, uniform, uh, Ma'am, uniform motion or un uniform motion, ma'am? Rotation of Earth around? The sun is a uniform or, or ununiform rotation? It is a uniform uh, motion, right? Ma'am? Yeah, ma'am, because the definition only says that in not in a straight line, ma'am. Because the uh, rotation of Earth around the sun is in an oval shape. See, in for uniform motion, so just to see the graph once, and we mentioned particularly that it must be in a straight line, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. But uh, re revolution or rotation of Earth around the sun, it is not a straight line, it is of circular. So yeah, in this case, we won't consider uniform motion. So we can't tell that point. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, it is not even uh, in a non-uniform motion also, right? Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, ma'am, it is not can... even a non-uniform non motion because it, uh, it, it is like it rotates in the same space. So you can tell uniform circular motion. Okay, yes, ma'am. If circular motion you mentioned, that will be clear. Uniform, okay. But to tell uniform motion, it 
must be in a straight line. But uh, yes, the rotation is circular. So uniform circular motion you can mention. Ma'am, but if we take uniform circular, right? It it is like uniform is only a straight line, and you add a circular to it. What? Ma'am, but uniform is a is moving in a straight line. But if we add circular, also it would be in a straight line. Right? Straight line. If because uniform is in a straight line. No circular. Yeah, we can tell uniform circular motion. But uh, velocity is changing, right? Is it traveling with same velocity? No, ma'am. So velocity is changing as well as acceleration is changing. So you can't tell. Velocity, ma'am. Okay. So we will discuss what is velocity. So I. Okay. So in tomorrow class we will come to know. So just now. Listen for speed first. So after this speed, velocity comes. Okay. So shall I? It is all. Uh, uh, it is around. Yeah, ma'am. You can. Seven thirty. Uh, I'll start. Hey, but to fabric. Yes. Ma I'm just two minutes remaining. What? Ma'am, we have two minutes remaining. So, shall I two start minutes, after the seven thirty? Yeah. Uh, ma'am, but uh, ma'am, why are we discussing heat, ma'am? Because heat is not there for anyone, I think, ma'am. Ma'am, I have heat, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. First, we will discuss fiber to fabric. Ma'am, in our exam, we have heat. Okay. Okay. So after fiber to fabric tomorrow in the beginning itself I will uh, revise heat and then we will go for uh, the motion in time. So okay. Typing, I'll close the chatting and everything. Ma'am, ma'am, um, but in hidden, ma'am, hidden temperature, ma'am, this is what happens, ma'am. Now, ma'am, there would be conversions like Fahrenheit to. Celsius, Celsius to Fahrenheit and Kelvin to Celsius. Jane, can't yes. hear you, Jane. Ma'am, I can't even chat, ma'am. What to tell again, then? Okay, Jane, I can let me discuss him, fiber to fabric. Okay, in fiber, um, how many, first we will see classification of fiber. How fiber is classified? Fiber into two classified types, into two. Plant fibers and uh, animal fibers. Actually, fiber is classified into three types. Natural yeah, fiber. Natural fibers, so synthetic fibers. Semi-synthetic fibers. And semi-synthetic fibers. Semi-synthetic. Ma'am, but in uh, this... And synthetic. Ma'am, but in seventh class, we are going to learn only about... Uh, uh, yeah, natural so fibers. In natural ma fibers, you are going to learn about plant fibers. Plant fibers and uh, animal, animal fibers. fibers. So, plant fibers, can you give examples like cotton? I'm cotton, jute. Jute. Here, animals like wool, silk. Wool, silk. Hmm. Muga silk, like that. Yeah. So, this. So uh, natural fibers, in this there are two categories if, which are obtained from plants are called plant fibers and which are obtained from animals are called animal fibers. So first we will see about wool. Okay, so where we can use wool, mostly we will use wool in sweaters to protect ourselves from the cold, right? Yeah, so how wool is obtained? Mom, it, so wool is obtained from sheep, animals mom. like sheep, Goat, um, angora goat, uh, Ak, llama, Ak. and uh, alpaca. Yes. So um, alpaca. here, actually, these animals they bear a thick coat of hair on their bodies. Okay. Yeah, so no. these, uh, from these, we will make the wool. These uh, wool fibers generally keep us warm. Ma'am, because they are a good conductor, uh, yeah. ma'am. You can call it as insulating barriers as well because it provides us insulation. So they act as insulating barriers, creating. So it acts. Uh, no, ma'am, they have a, 
air holes ma'am but the when the air enters uh, like the like the heat will be there only ma'am and the ma'am and the air is a bad conductor of uh, heat ma'am so it doesn't let the heat uh, escape ma'am yeah, yeah we will discuss we will discuss one by one okay so wool keeps warm and uh, wool is obtained from uh, the hairy growth of the animals okay so wool it is completely made up of protein keratin ma'am no 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 let me discuss okay so it is made up of protein after this you can uh, tell your views okay so mostly uh, as you said wool can be from sheep goat uh, alpaca the suna so these are the certain animals so what is the difference between fleece and hair ma'am fleece what ma is fleece ma'am uh, fleece means the coarse bead hair actually along with uh, from soft under hair ma'am whereas hair means coarse bead hair can only come ma'am beard hair fleece means which is uh, the covering of wool on a sheep which are used to make clothes that is fleece whereas hair is nothing but you can find hair which is thin like thin thread like structures from the skin that is hair hair is different from the fleece isn't it so we can't uh, we won't prepare wool from the hair we will prepare wool from the fleece of animals okay fleece is thick covering the covering of wool on sheep so these only helps to make clothing and everything whereas hair is nothing but a thread like structures which comes out of the skin okay yes ma'am next wool from the sheep so what are its characteristics so whatever the wool we are taking from the sheep what are its characteristics so the sheep hairy coat it has two fibers in it whatever the wool it has coarse beard hair and soft yes. under hair no coarse beard hair and soft under hair so two kinds are there one is coarse beard hair other is soft under hair Yeah, ma'am. And the under hair of the sheep is very soft, and the beard hair yeah. is very coarse. It is the soft, as the name itself is telling, soft and coarse. Okay, so yeah, this soft under hair it is found close to the skin. Yeah, ma'am. Ma'am. Yes. Oh, well, I'm continuing now. Yeah, you are speaking, so I was silent. Then, uh, the finest wood is finest wool. Angora goat. Wool is obtained from Ang very you know a breed of sheep from Spain. Angora goat, ma. Obtained from merino. So, ma'am, but merino, I think it's a fiber, no, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Is obtained from the merino, a breed of sheep. Ma'am, but it's yeah. uh, come from uh, Angora goat, only, no, ma'am. So it is one of the breed of sheep, merino breed. Okay. So it is from Spain. In Spain, there is a sheep which is called like it is one of the breed called merino. From it, you can get finest wool, originally from Spain. so you are checking notes i am uploading in the resources tab of yeah ma'am wise okay ma'am ma'am means the merino breed ma'am the wool given by merino breed is also very costly i think ma'am yes it is finest soft light and costly one so what is the meaning of breed students Ma'am, type. No type. Like it is having certain same similar features, but it, a particular type of animal, it, it will be having the same kind of features. Like you are telling, it is one of. Ma'am, like uh, 
same animal which have a different kind of features now yeah yeah some difference will be there i'm sa- same like the humans mom yes so next uh, we will see how sheep are rear- rearing of sheep mom first process shearing uh, second process covering third no, one no, is- that is wool production so rearing rearing means uh, like keeping animals taking care selective of selective breeding mom i'm selective breeding breeding is different rearing is different so what is rearing rearing means keeping yeah. animals and caring for them mom like domesticating animals see where you will find sheep mostly in hilly regions of like jammu kashmir himachal pradesh yeah, what they will uh, do they will take yeah. care of the animals they will uh, like uh, yeah. Ma'am, uh, now, ma'am, how do you get in Hyderabad? Uh, ma'am, in Hyderabad, you get the wool T-shirts. Ma'am, basically, they get the sheep from Jammu Kashmir to Hyderabad or some place near us, and ma'am, then they produce wool from there. What he told? Ma'am, ma'am, he told that uh, ma'am, the ma'am in. hyderabad to prepare uh, like the sweaters and everything they bring the goats and uh, yeah. sheep from jammu and kashmir ma'am so they won't bring actually they rear there um, they take care of uh, and they like uh, from the skin they will make and they'll sell here right they come in the winter season mainly they will sell the woolen cloths and they will go back in hyderabad on the footpaths they will keep shelters and they'll sleep there have you seen particularly in the winter season they will keep they'll make their shelters on the footpath they will sleep there itself they come they come with their families actually okay after selling they'll go back okay so rearing mostly found uh, it can be done in jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh Ma'am, yes. Ma'am, uh, the rearing of sheep is called uh, apiculture, I think, ma'am. Apiculture? I'm thinking it's apiculture. Rearing of sheep. Ma'am, it's not apiculture. Sheep. Then what is silkworm? Sericulture, ma'am. Okay. Then what is apiculture? Ma'am, the rearing of sheep is called apiculture. I'm thinking now. Then honey bees. Ma'am, I also don't know about honey. Honey bees is apiculture. Okay. So Sikkim, Punjab, etc. So these are the few states. So till now we discussed where uh, about wool, where it gets, and what is the finest wool, where uh, from which breed we can get, and where sheep sheep are reared. And now wool production. How is wool? How wool is like? Uh, it will be removed from the body of animal, and how the process is done. Uh, sheep hair is generally removed from the body. okay and then what process they will do so they will do to produce wool first they will do shearing process so in shearing process the fleece of sheep fleece means you understood right what is fleece we already discussed what is fleece here ma'am it is it is the covering on the you you won't tell hair on a sheep you will call it as fleece so the fleece on sheep with the uh, from the body is removed okay this is called shearing process so actually they will do uh, annually like once per year in spring or summer season okay it's like hair cut how you will do it won't hurt the animal okay simply they will remove they use certain machines have you ever seen students Yes, ma'am. Special clippers, ma'am. Yes, yes. So it will be like how you trim your hair in the same way. They will trim the hair of sheep 
uh, that process is called as shearing and it is done annually like once a year in the spring or in the summer season okay next process is scoring so in this what we will do whatever is removed it is washed thoroughly in the tanks so actually it is uh, uh, the outer layer of the animal right so in that there will be uh, like uh, dust grease uh, so that everything is removed by this process which is called scoring process in scoring process whatever the skin is there that skin is washed thoroughly in the tanks to remove grease dust dirt everything so in shearing process what is done students it is like simple hair cut i am writing just to remember in scoring process washing washing sheared skin to remove dirt grease and everything okay so this uh, washing process is also done with the help of machines next process is grading grading or you can also call it as sorting sorting yeah so in this process based on Mama, the length Mama. color texture it is yes Mama, i think the third process is dyeing ma'am yeah we will do everything in the grading and sorting process in this there are many involved so one in uh, whatever it is removed based on the length color texture we will do certain process so first we will do dyeing Ma'am, dyeing, uh, sorting, dyeing uh, means what cleaning of birds. As the natural color, generally it will be white, brown, or black color. So whatever the color, it doesn't look nice, ma'am. Whatever the colors are required, ma that those are. Ma'am, can you give example? For what? Ma'am, ma now you want a green bed sheet, ma'am. So ma'am, a green cloth, wool sweater. Yeah, we will use green color, right? Sweaters are of many colors. Yes, ma'am, but we. Yes, especially we need green color, ma'am. But now, ma'am, ma'am, cheap come in white, black, brown. Yeah, yeah. They will use certain uh, dyes yes, actually. They will use the natural dye or artificial dye, ma'am, because natural dye will go in some time, ma'am. Hmm. So they will use artificial dye. Yeah, obviously artificial. Like organic, nothing is available, right? Yes, ma'am. Even if there's organic after few. Ma'am, if organic is there also after after some uh, washes only, it will go, ma'am. Yeah, it won't the be like exact will, the not... color. It won't be so they will follow uh, everything color, and they will do everything like in with the help of machines. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, this color. Ma'am, nowadays so uh, everything machines, ma'am. Yes. But uh, at that time, uh, nothing was there about machines. Yes, ma yes. Ma'am, ma so if you use a green natural color dye, ma'am, now after two three years you will be observing that white uh, woolen sweater of yours yeah. will be becoming light, ma'am, due to the color. Ma'am, they do the process of dyeing because uh, the only the white color doesn't look nice, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Ma'am, if you want a colorful uh, sweater, ma'am, that uh, ma'am, you don't have that material, ma'am. You don't have that uh, colorful dyes, ma'am. It's a from white. Yes. So after dyeing, after giving color, then they will dry it. So the next process is drying. So for this, what they will do? See, in the washing machine, what how drying takes place, students? It will squeeze out entire water, right? Yeah, ma'am. It will squeeze and it will give us, ma'am, the out. Yeah, yeah. So they also put into the rollers to squeeze out the uh, as much as water possible, and then the wool is weighed, packed into bales. Okay, so these bales are transported to the mills. Okay. Yeah, ma'am. So I think still we have to. So can you? I think you have idea of the bale, right? How it will be? So in the center, uh, you can find like this. It is totally rolled, woolen ones, thread. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. So the fleece is bale. So the name is bale. I'm can I tell one thing, ma'am? Yes. 
Ma'am, there's an uh, animal called uh, llama and uh, ma'am, like llama, ma'am. It's mm -hmm. ancestor, ma'am, it's uh, ancestor, uh, Vicuna is an uh, endangered species, ma'am, now. Ma'am, mm. and also it gives the softest uh, material, like softest wool material in the world, ma'am. Wool? Ma'am, it gives the soft, softest wool material in the world. I mean, also, uh, uh, ma'am, like some years ago, Australian scientists uh, invented a way, ma'am, like for removing wool. Ma'am, without uh, sharing process only, it, it will, ma'am. Okay. They, they, they inject it, they inject the sheep with a special ha hormone, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that they is scientist. Mean. So even, you know, um, to get the finest wool, the scientists are doing like they are developing breeds. Yeah, so they are yeah. they are they are like they are developing the breeds of sheep to get soft under hair. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Ma'am, mm -hmm. can I tell something? Yes, ma'am. In uh, in our country, ma'am, pashmina wool is very soft. Yeah, ma'am, it's very costly, ma'am. The, mm -hmm. the pashmina. Ma it is very soft also. Yes. Fine. So that bell is converted to an at last after drying process, making of an, it goes to the uh, milk, uh, sorry, mill, meal, sorry, mills. It goes to the mills and then it is made into an. So you know an, right? Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, ma I think now we have to discuss the health hazards in wool industry. Yeah, yeah. So what are the health hazards uh, in anthrax disease, ma'am? Anthrax disease. And bacteria will be there. Anthrax will be there. So due to ma'am, ma'am, the anthrax causes, disease is caused by the bacteria called Bacillus anthrax. Anthrax, no? yes, Bacillus anthrax. So it due to that it leads to blood diseases called Sauter's disease. Okay. Yeah, Sauter's. So the workers face these kind of uh, diseases there. Okay, now they got vaccinations. So due to vaccinations, they are preventing these diseases and they're working healthy. Yeah, ma'am. Ma'am, and the same in the... Ma'am, like in the wool industry also, there are some diseases, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, like they may get asthma and some other issues, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, asthma. They, they will get that. Ma'am, and the blisters. Blisters? Yeah, ma'am, ma'am, like, uh, ma'am, the, ma'am, the boil the couples, ma'am, then they have to check that the silk fibers have come out or not, ma'am. For that, they keep their hands uh, to, ma'am, like, the silk have loosened or not, ma'am, because the silk is made up of a strong protein called uh, fibrin or... It is uh, silicine, disease of skin, right? Yeah, ma'am. Like, um, uh, boils are formed on the skin. Yeah, ma'am. Ma and also asthma and bronchitis and some... Uh, uh, yeah, bronchitis and asthma both are similar. I mean, also some uh, hearing disorders, ma'am. That's why. Yeah. Next, uh, wool, uh, it is also obtained from other animals like angora wool. From angora ma wool. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma angora wool, wool is obtained from uh, angora, angora rabbit, ma'am. Angora rabbit. Or a goat. Ma'am, ma from angora goat, we get the mohair fiber, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mohair fiber. Mohair fiber. Mohair fiber. Yeah, ma'am. Mohair fiber is obtained from the Angora goat, ma'am, and Angora wool is obtained from Angora rabbit, ma'am. Is that? Yeah, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So why no, I, I know that Angora wool is obtained from Angora goat. Um, and Angora, Angora, yeah, yeah. Angora rabbit also there. Um, Angora rabbit is um, Angora rabbit is known as Angora wool, ma'am. I'm um, like the wool obtained from Angora rabbit is known as Angora wool and the Angora, Angora fiber it is. Yeah, yeah, Angora rabbit. Okay. Ma'am, and the Angora, so, the fibers from, is obtained from yeah, Angora, goat. Angora goat. Okay, actually, from Angora goats, the mohair is obtained twice a year. They will harvest. They will. Ma'am, also alpaca. Ma'am, alpaca and llama also belong to camel family, and they are found in South America, ma'am. And their undercoat hair is very soft and lustrous, ma'am. Yes. And also light in weight. Alpaca, right? Alpaca and llama also. Llama. Ma 
so they both belongs to camel family yeah ma'am hmm. they both yes ma'am so they generally alpaca and llama they found in south america ma'am how does the alpaca look ma'am i have never seen one okay i'll show you ma'am can i show ma'am ma'am ha ma'am alpaca picture yeah send rishikesh yeah i'm sending ఫుల్క్ Okay. Mom, it's like uh, a, a dog with a fur, mom. Like that, it's there. See the difference between alpaca and uh, llama. See here. Can you see the difference? Yeah, mom. Alpaca and llama, we can see, mom. The uh, one is their height. You can see here. Mom, mm. mom alpaca is very their ears. Yes. Their coat. mom, alpaca is much smaller than llama, mom, and. Uh, Alpaca generally, can you see the difference here? I'll show. Ma'am, alpaca is like a dog. I mean, we. Alpaca will also be. We have soft skin, whereas llama will have uh, the coarse oh. skin. Can you see here? Yeah, ma'am. Any ma difference and everything. Ma'am, ma'am, and can you also show? Ma'am, and can you also show the weak you know, ma'am? Weak you know. Ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, no. Ma'am, alpacas, ma'am, are dogs into llamas, ma'am. No, no. Yeah, don't, one, right? don't think, don't think now. like dog. Yeah, it is looking like uh, some. What it is? Ma'am, but they have like a dog feature, ma'am, like that. Ma'am, ear. It looks yes, like ear, right? Ma Face looks. I mean, this one also will be same like the llama, ma'am. Llama. It's going to be llama into a deer, ma'am. Ma'am, we can say that it is a species of llama family, ma'am. So it looks like a llama only. Yeah, ma'am, into a deer. Yes, ma'am, it looks like deer. Llama only, ma'am. So there's no doubt in that, ma'am. Ma'am, I have one doubt, ma'am. Hmm. Yes, yes. Ma'am, what is the difference between uh, alpaca and la? Which uh, one, ma'am? మోర్ఫర్ ఇన్ దమ్ Oh, I also have my mom. Can I also show? Uh, I'm not by share screen also, ma'am. Photo is client here. Uh, yeah, ma'am, I'm showing, ma'am. Ma'am, in my video. We can't see. Yes, ma'am. We can see. Yes, please see. Yes. Ma'am, and this is the yes. Bactrian camel and everything, ma'am. Yes, yes. Bactrian camel, uh, Angora goat. Yeah, Bactrian camel, Kashmiri goat, Angora goat. Yeah, Rishikesh, what? Uh, what book is that? What? Which book are you using? Means what? What? The Which they are book? asking for the book. Book name. Ma'am, the ma'am the Oxford book, ma'am. Yes, I am teaching from the same book. Ma'am, I know that book. Ma'am, can you share the e-book download, ma'am? This book you need? Yeah, ma'am. I'm trying to find all the internet. No, that is that. Go to Amazon and click on news and see now. Every day. But I'm giving notes, right? Click on news and see every day life book. You can download you from internet. You you will find it. I mean, instead if we buy, it would be so much easy, ma'am. We can read it at any time. 